New York City's top Democratic mayoral candidates face off in the final debate before early voting in the primary begins. Tonight, their positions on the important issues as the city prepares to choose its new leader. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. Five leading contenders in the mayoral race took the stage facing questions over the rise in gun violence and crime across the city. But one hot topic, questions over where one candidate lives. Let's get right to CBS 2's Dick Brennan here in studio with a wrap-up of tonight's debate. Dick? All right, Christine. Well, it didn't take long for the candidates to tackle the thorny issues and even a few controversies. Eric Adams, the front runner, found himself an early target. Eric is literally trying to convince New Yorkers where he lives. From the jump, frontrunner Eric Adams was the target of shots from the other candidates. But Adams defended himself on issues of where he lives and how hard he works. I live in Brooklyn, New York. I'm proud of that. I served as a police officer in Brooklyn. I became a state senator elected from Brooklyn, and now I am the Brooklyn Borough President. The five leading candidates mixed it up on occasion, but for the most part, it was a civil debate of the issues, including what to do about an increase in hate crimes. We have seen an uptick in anti-Asian hate crime, but we have also seen an uptick in anti-Semitism. It has to stop. A lot of our children don't believe that there's a way out because we don't create opportunities for them to have jobs and, and real opportunity. With the city opening up again, a key question, should congestion Congestion pricing for vehicles be quickly implemented. It should be right now because part of what we need to do with that money is put it into our subway systems to make sure that they're continuing to run and operate and we have to improve them. So we need to have congestion pricing put in place. Now? Now. They, we are not suffering from a lack of cars in Midtown. The candidates mostly agreed on changing street names that came from slaveholders. I believe the names have to be changed uh, in a thoughtful community-led process. We have to change these names, but we have to do more. We we actually have to make sure that in a crisis like this, we're not only doing things that are symbolic. Another question, the regulation of secondhand spoke, particularly for marijuana. I am in full support that we should make sure we regu regulate where the smoking is taking place, particularly in apartment buildings where people live. We should designate particular areas, particularly in large apartment buildings, that are appropriate for smoking marijuana uh, and not. On a lighter note, the candidates were asked if they could, what landmark would they name after Rudy Giuliani? Rikers Island. <laughs> Ms. Wiley. Uh, uh, do we have a dump we can out of No, we do we not. We do I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying I'd find the dirtiest thing. So I your one word is a dump? A dump. Now, the candidates were all quest also questioned about various issues and various controversies. We can tell you, though, this is the final debate before early voting starts on Saturday. So things are beginning to happen very quickly, Christine. All right, Dick, thank you.